hello guys welcome back uh, so today we are going to talk about uh, resection method so we are going to use uh, the least squares module and we are going to calculate the coordinates of a point by a method called uh, resection so resection method uh, we are simply talking about uh, a basic principle of uh, rigorous least squares adjustment by the variation of coordinates so the method uh, determines the most probable position of the least squares weighted estimate of uh, the free point by successive approximations so as you know that uh, with least squares there are what are called iterations so iterations will cease when uh, two successive iterations produces uh, the results which differ by less than 0 0.0001 meters. So that's when the iteration will stop and the value that we get is the most probable value. So there are two ways we can do a uh, resection. Uh, probably you are in a field, you just want to do a quick calculation so you can manually input the data or you can manually enter the data so the data is not stored for future use once the calculation is completed then the data entered will be lost so you only need uh, one arc uh, one set of observations so the idea is just to provide the user with a quick calculation or something like uh, a three or four point resection while in the field then the other method is to use what we call a uh, general observation file. You can create a general observation file, then you can still use that general observation file even after the calculation is completed. So we're going to use a general observation file today. So I'm gonna create uh, a new general observation file. As you can see, I do have a coordinate file there. So these are the points that we are going to use in our resection. So let me just create a new general observation file. Uh, let me name it uh, fix, uh, want to fix point P. So let me call it fix P. So let me open. So now we are ready to enter the observed data into our general observation file. So remember what, like what we said, we need to pay special attention to our observation code. So for resection, uh, the point that we are about to calculate the coordinates for does not have coordinates yet. We are about to calculate the coordinates. So the code that we may need to use there is uh, one. So let me call this point uh, P, right? Uh, and uh, the point P is a setup station with um, instrument height there was 1.56 meters. So the setup station doesn't have horizontal angle, slope angle, vertical angle. So let me click there. So now that I do have uh, my um, setup station, now I'm ready to enter the data. So to fix this point, uh, we said uh, if you're not sure of the code, you can go down here and see what each code means. So we said code one, it means that a setup it does not have coordinates. Then code two, the point does have coordinates. But in this tutorial, we are going to use code three. So code three is that we are observing to fix the current setup point. So you are observing to, let's say, uh, uh, three or four known points in trying to calculate the coordinates of your setup station. So in this case, you're going to use code three because we want to fix our setup station. So, so as you can see, uh, I have observed to TR56, so the code there is uh, 0, 03. Then the horizontal angle, the slope distance, the vertical angle, 
then uh, the instrument height uh, in this case was not 1.56 uh, so it was 1.4 meters right so let's click there so now that I have this point now let's add another point so we have code 03 there I have another point called uh, TR103 then the horizontal angle for that was uh, 62 uh, 06 and then 59 then uh, we don't have the slope distance there and uh, the vertical angle was 89 uh, we have 22 we have 2 then the target height was zero there so let's just add this point so I've got two points added let's add another point I also have uh, TR156 TR156 then the horizontal angle for this point was 140 degrees then I have uh, sorry 140 I have 13 I have uh, 0 4 then I don't have the slope distance uh, I do have the vertical angle is 89 uh, 52 uh, 57 uh, then the target height is zero as well so let's add then i also have another point let's change this code to zero three i also have another point called uh, tr102 then the horizontal angle for this was 181 we have uh, 25 we have uh, 55 then there's no slope distance again we have the vertical uh, please if you have the slope distance you simply add them in this tutorial I don't have the slope distance so let's add the vertical angle for TR102 we have 88 there we have uh, 30 we have 35 so the target height is 1.4 meters okay now at the last point TR 247 uh, we have uh, 305 305 degrees then 35 minutes then we have uh, 32 seconds um, we have the vertical angle is 87 we have uh, 48 we have uh, 55 uh, the the instrument height is zero so let's just put zero there so let's click so this is my first uh, set of uh, observations from point P so I made a mistake there the code should be 03 there so let me just change it to the three then right so it's now set so I have one two three four five points that we are using in our resection so this is the first set so I'll go ahead and add uh, uh, we have uh, three more sets uh, so let me just go ahead and add uh, three more sets right so as you can see they have added a uh, three more set of values so this is the first arc uh, we started by observing um, to TR 56 with uh, 23 degrees but then we said uh, for our next set of values let's uh, add 90 degrees so that we are now starting with uh, 113 so 113 is our starting uh, value for our observation so we observed from P 
again to TR56 with 113. So then we get all oh, these are the values. And then we said uh, for the third set of values, let's increment 90 degrees again. So we incremented uh, 90 degrees uh, to this value so that we come up with something like uh, 203 degrees. Then we observed other points. Then we say, let's add another 90 degrees to create our fourth arc. So we came up with uh, 293. So this is our general observation file that we are going to use uh, for uh, uh, resection in trying to calculate the coordinates of uh, point P. So we are using uh, this uh, general observation file. Uh, make sure you use uh, the descriptions of there. Sometimes you see uh, there's a blank or there's an L or there's a one. So that means you are using offset uh, rods. Uh, they might come in handy uh, for the position that you cannot uh, physically uh, occupy with a prism. So use offset rods. But these uh, zeros, uh, it means that uh, these are just uh, point descriptions. So once you are you, you are set to calculate the point uh, coordinates, so you go to list squares. So you click uh, list squares there, and then you go to single point fix uh, resection etc. Then we want to calculate the x, uh, the y, and the z. So we click here. So it means that uh, our software has already read that we want to calculate the coordinates for a point P. So this is the point P that we want to calculate uh, the coordinates for. So you can choose uh, options to manually enter the data or we can use uh, an observation file. In this case, we are using an observation file. So you see this is uh, ticked there. Then we are going to start uh, from the first line to the last line. So click proceed. So let's click here and uh, click again. So for the sake of this uh, tutorial, right, so this is what we get. Uh, we get uh, the orientation, orientation correction uh, at that point. So we have a uh, minus 10 degrees 30 and uh, one second. So these are the points. You have the Y, the X, uh, the bearings there. So this is what we have observed, but we are now using the orientation correction to reduce it to this value. So this value uh, subtracting uh, 10 degrees we get there. So this is the bearing that we are now using. Then we also have uh, the distances. So this is an approximate uh, X, Y values for point P we get here 1452.0.3774. Then the X is uh, 455.536.782. Uh, we get also the standard deviation, which is uh, 5. So you also get uh, the, the height, the elevation. So this is the elevation calculation. So we have an accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.151. So this is the elevation for point P. Now that we have calculated uh, the coordinates for our point, we have the X, we have the Y and X. Then we also have uh, the Z value. So now let's save our point. So you click save point your point should be added to the coordinate file. So let's close this. So as you can see from here, we now have our point P. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.